Hey YouTube, what is going on? Brandon here with another printer repair video. Today we've got the Canon Pixma uh, G6020. Basically, if you're having any issues with your print quality, a certain color isn't printing, or a general and overall print quality issue, today I'm going to show you a method on how to actually solve this problem on your own, inexpensively, and really pretty easily. Now if you haven't seen my videos before, my name is Brandon. Again, um, I do have a product that has been proven and tested time and time again that has solved this issue. I will show you how to use it during the video, but before we start, just want to make you aware of it. That is the Best Printers Cleaning Kit, a highly rated product on Amazon.com. You can find that in the description below. Now also for more support and to contact me, you can go to my website bestprinterstech.com. You can also find a variety of printers, printer ink, uh, so if you're wanting to upgrade uh, your printer, you can go there to my website and buy a new printer from there. Any products that I mentioned in this video, there will be a link to in the description below, but also I recommend that you use Amazon Prime so that you can get all these products very quickly. It's a free 30-day trial, so you don't lose anything by using it. Uh, I'm going to leave a link for that as well. So a lot of resources for you in the description below. If this video ends up being helpful to you, make sure to like. If you have any questions at all about this process, about my product, about anything, make sure to comment below. And if you want more content like this, and you want to see some videos where I'm also uh, recommending printers, recommending uh, different types of maintenance, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And that would be greatly appreciated. That's all I've got for now. So without further ado, let's get into this repair. All right, so what you're gonna need for this repair is the Best Printers Cleaning Kit. You see the package there with the syringe and the cleaning solution. You're also gonna need some gloves um, and then also a plastic container, at least two inches in depth, uh, and you'll see why later, along with some uh, paper towel so you can clean everything up. Okay, so make sure you've got some paper uh, in the printer because you are gonna need to print off a nozzle check. I highly recommend that you do this and actually I would say this is necessary to the actual repair because um, you see there you're going to go to maintenance and click on a nozzle check. This nozzle check is going to help you determine what color, whether it's black or a color that is giving you some type of issue. If it's diminished, I see there my yellow is a, a tad bit diminished, uh, but really you can go through and check every color. Um, you've got black here and color is all of those other there's about six of them or more um, and you'll see why this is relevant in just a moment so you're going to lift the top of the printer and your print carriage should be kind of loose and moving around once you get it slightly in the middle you're going to grab it gently this won't do any damage and you're going to unplug the uh, power cable from the back of the printer okay once that's unplugged um, you're good to go you can now start this repair on the printer and really what you're gonna to need to do is just lift the top of the uh, print head carriage, which is that button right there. And you've got black and color print heads. So you're gonna remove both of these and you're gonna place them into the plastic container. Now, before you start this, uh, I will mention that you will need a fresh uh, set of ink bottles to install on the printer um, before or sorry, rather after this uh, repair and also for the end of this process, which I will go more into later. Uh, but at this moment, this is where you're gonna be using your best printers cleaning kit. You're gonna take your syringe, fill it up with the cleaning solution and determine what color you're having issues with, again, with the nozzle check. Once you've determined that, you will then go in and uh, you can, um, the, if it's black, it's very simple. It's just going to be the one um, nozzle that's sticking out there. But if it's color, you've got three different ones. And I'll show you in just a second. Uh, we'll, we'll show you how to use the syringe, but then I'll show you the, co the color pattern. Even if you look on the uh, print head carriage, so that one is cyan right there. And the bottom left, I believe, will be yellow. Next to that is cyan. So really, if you just look at the bottom of the print head carriage, and I'll show you that in a minute, so you, you're not confused. But that will give you the color pattern uh, for this print head. So once you're able to determine the color, you're then going to put your um, syringe, the tip of your syringe, onto the nozzle of the print head. And you see there I'm starting off with magenta. So basically what you're doing here is, once that is attached, 
you're going to want to have that print head in the plastic container and you're going to be flushing this through all of the uh, cleaning solution you want about i would say 10 milliliters uh, is what you're going to want to push through at first and then you can push through another 10 and that's really just going to unclog all of that um, dried up ink because that's what it is it's dried up ink that gets stuck there over time especially if you're running your ink too low which is why i recommend if you're already running your ink too low you're going to need some new ink bottles and i will provide that in the description below okay so really if it's giving you a little bit of pressure just ease up on it and just keep going uh, make sure that it, the the tubing is very much connected onto the print head and you see there there's the nice red magenta color coming out okay i'm gonna stop around right here i think i'm gonna pull it off okay i'm gonna clean my tubing uh, if necessary but in this case it's not and then this one on the right here is going to be yellow so i am confirming that the top one is magenta the bottom right is yellow and the bottom left is cyan and i'll confirm that uh, in just a second as well so again you have a little bit of solution so if you have problems with more than one color you can do this to every single color uh, but really the point of the uh, nozzle check is to kind of help you determine which one is giving you the most issues and, and what you see me doing there that method is i'm kind of just applying pressure sucking some back in and applying pressure you can also do that that is very effective as well okay, and as you can see there you got yellow mixed with magenta and you've got your paper towel you want to clean everything off make sure that the print head is clean okay so once you're done working with it again you can do this to every single color you can do that to cyan even if you're not having issues with it necessarily um, and you see there the pattern. So your top, um, your top nozzle is gonna be magenta. Um, and this is kind of hard. I kind of already explained this, but your left is going to be, um, your bottom left is cyan and your bottom right is yellow. So the black one is very, very simple. It's just one nozzle. And the one nozzle is going to be black. And again, you can do the same process with the black print head. It's the exact same thing. It's, if not, easier. You're just attaching it there and uh, flushing through all of the cleaning solution. So it should look just like this. And the uh, solutions should come out the bottom. And of course, you're going to use your plastic container for that. So I'm not going to do black, uh, but you get the gist of it. I kind of already showed you on the more complicated print head, which has the three. So once you're done, you're going to want to dry everything off and then you're going to reinstall the print heads just like you do when you first are installing the printer. You're going to close down the uh, print head carriage and click down those two um, fasteners for the print head. You're going to close that up and now you're going to po power the printer back on. Okay, once it's powered on, you're going to want to go into your maintenance, um, click on your settings. Now, before that, of course, just make sure that before you run this process that I'm going to go into, your uh, ink tanks need to be full. If they are not full, wait to do this project until you get your ink bottles. Again, use Amazon Prime so that you can get everything quickly and inexpensively um, and quickly. I'm going to leave that in the description below along with the link to some brand new ink for this printer so what you're going to do is you're going to go to maintenance go to setup it's the the screwdriver and the plier um, symbol click on that you're then going to go to maintenance and you're going to want to go to um, uh, ink flush so the, at first we did a regular cleaning and after we did the cleaning we did we went right into actually uh, clicking on ink flush which is another one of the uh, options for you and that's what you should get out after nine minutes of waiting um, that is what you should get after just doing cleaning and deep cleaning we got that on the left there and i'll show you another one here in just a second that was even less um, because that's what you're going to get what you really need to do is an ink flush it's through your maintenance 
Um, it's going to take about nine minutes and it's going to take a bunch of ink. You can see there how much ink this ended up using. So aside from cleaning and deep cleaning, it's the ink flush that you need to run. That's all I've got for now. Thank you for watching and until next time.